Well, hey guys, welcome to Hilltop Machine Works. I am Tom. Come on in. Hey everybody, welcome back to Hilltop Machine Works. I am Tom and we are in the shop. It's uh, time for another project, so it means time for another video. Hey, uh, I want to say thanks uh, to all my new subscribers. I appreciate you hitting that uh, red button. And if you had not subscribed, please hit that red button. That way I know you're out there. So, what I've got here is um, I've kind of outgrown the tool holder rack that I made for the Enco. Um, so this project is going to be, we're going to redesign the upper rail, move some stuff around and make a nice long one so I can put a whole bunch more tool holders um, there on it instead of having to keep half of them there and half of them in this roll chest. So uh, let me move the camera around and show you what I'm talking about. Alrighty, so that is the rail that I made and it's worked fine so far but as you can see it's full and I've got several other ones so I don't have room and I'll back you up sorry about that pull you back so the plan is is to basically remove get over here remove this and what we'll do is we're going to remove this and we're going to make one big long one that's going to go here going to pull these uh, wrenches they're going to go in the drawer brushes will go over here and then i think i am going to also if that is in the frame let me see uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. No, nope, it's not in the frame. And the uh, chuck key, mount that down on the bottom uh, where the chip pan is, like I did on the Monarch. So, what uh, I need to do now is just go ahead and start uh, disassembling all this stuff, breaking it all down, and we'll get a plan of attack to uh, make a nice long tool holder rail. Alright, going handheld for a second, so hopefully it won't be too shaky. As you can see, I cleared out the uh, top of the backsplash there. I got the chuck key mounted there. Easy access. Move the wrenches into the drawer here. And then kind of laid out all my tool holders. Um, there's 19 of them. And that kind of frees me up a little room. This is my lathe roll cabinet where I keep all my lathe stuff so I had uh, some of those two pulse holders in here so that frees up a little bit of room there so um, now the plan of attack here I guess is is to go ahead and uh, get a piece of angle iron I'm thinking and we'll run it all the way on the back here and I still kind of want it angled like I had the uh, the previous tool rack over there that way the uh, tool holders will want to stay um, seated and not try to uh, wiggle out if you're sitting basically sliding in horizontal if you know what I mean so uh, let's get over here and um, dig out some stock and see what we got to work with alright I dug through my uh, stock found a piece of one and a half by one and a half angle iron, so that work out perfect. And it's uh, about three sixteenths thick, looks like. Flat stock, I don't have what I need. It looks like um, this is a eighth inch thick by one and a half inch wide parallel and fits just perfect as you can see so uh, I'm gonna have to pick up some one and a half inch wide eighth inch flat stock but in the meantime what I'll do is I'll go ahead and uh, get this cut down to 40 inches and that's about all I can do today and then uh, we'll have to pick this project up tomorrow well we are back in the shop um, made a little run to the home depot and turn you down here I'll get out of the camera and uh, 
picked up a piece of, uh, you know, one and a half inch wide, one eighth thick flat bar off their uh, expensive little metal racks. But like I said, I don't need to. This is four footer, so work out perfect. I don't need a uh, a full 20 footer. Of course, the 20 footer probably be the same price as this one. But you know, the metal supplier is all the way across town, so this will be uh, you know more convenient, so we can go ahead and get this thing done. So um, kind of got them all laid out there. Got 20 of them, and I think uh, if I uh, cut this piece off about uh, one and a half inches tall. So it's going to be a one and a half by one and a half square. And we'll just weld them up and uh, we'll rock and roll. So let me get this uh, marked out and cut up in uh, little squares. Alright, back over here at the lathe. Hopefully you can see it pretty good. I've got the uh, angle iron piece on here. And what I did is I just made this little bracket right here. Quarter inch hole. And then what's going to happen is it's going to get welded on right there. Let me see if I can zoom you in a little better and maybe you can see it. Well, there you go. So it's going to get welded onto there. And then drill a hole through there and bolt in the nut. And then on the other side, we are, hopefully, there's enough white. Uh, a little darker over there. But anyways, I'm going to uh, build a strap with, uh, let me get a pointer or something because I can't get back there because you guys are in the way. Uh, well, let me use this piece anyway. So what I'll do is show you is it's going to weld onto there and it's going to bolt down. I'm going to fold it and it's going to be on the back side of this and then we're just going to drill in, uh, a hole and put a bolt on it up to that way. That way it's not going to go anywhere, and then the weight of uh, this thing is sitting on the backsplash. So I think that'll work out. Well, it's another day, so uh, let's get back at it. So what I've got is I've got that uh, rack upside down, and I am handheld, but I figure this is the easiest way to show it to you. Sitting on a couple of uh, V-blocks there and there. Um, unfortunately I need to buy a set of V-blocks just for welding. I mean these are my decent ones, either import, but I use them on the mill mainly. Um, got that bracket made. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put some weld in there. And then we'll go in there and get some weld in there. So if you're looking at it, this is obviously the bottom. This is towards the headstock, and that end is towards the tailstock. So, let me uh, get set up and we'll get a little weld on this thing. Hopefully you can see it pretty good. Um, just going to start putting the tabs on that are going to hold the two holders that I cut out earlier. See what I got a little set up here with a couple can't twist clamps. One to keep it upright and the other one to keep it from moving. So let's bust some weld on it. Alrighty. I am gonna rinse and repeat. I'm gonna knock them all out in one section on one side and then I'll weld the other sides up. As you can see I am uh, just plugging along. It's getting a little warm so I'm going to take about a five minute break, let stuff cool down because uh, it gets a little warm on the finger trips trying to uh, get the cant twist clamps on and get everything lined up. So I'll bring you back. Alrighty, last one. Let's get her buzzed on. Sweet. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to buzz the uh, other sides of these, go all the way down. 
and then we'll just uh, clean it up a little bit and check her out on the lathe backsplash drill a couple holes and then we'll throw some paint on her all right trying to get the rack up here um, we're gonna have to drill this back hole for this bolt and obviously I can't really get in with a regular drill so I got my right angle blue point here uh, that should be a little bit noisy but that's the way it is Okay, I got some color on her, so now uh, I guess the uh, proverbial saying, <laughs> we get to watch the paint dry, right? So uh, I'm going to go in and grab some lunch, and uh, we'll give this an hour or two. Hopefully she'll tack up pretty good, and then we can uh, get her on top of that backsplash. Well, I've got it all mounted up. It's uh, been about three hours later, and unfortunately the paint is still a little bit tacky. The weather here today, we've had storms all day long, so we got like 100% humidity. So, got her. Let me get you in frame here. Got it fastened up. Like I said, just a tad bit tacky. So, let's uh, beat Mother Nature at her own game and get a little heat on her. What do you think? So, I am going to. Uh, Try to dry it out a little bit so I can get these holders on here. Well, there she is all loaded up. And she is ready to work. So what do you guys think? I think it is uh, a lot more user friendly. And it uh, came out real nice. And then I can just uh, grab uh, whatever I need. It's uh, right within reach. So I think that's going to work out really well. So... I appreciate you guys watching and following along with this project. Hey, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. So that way I know you're out there. Hit that little red banner down there. Also, uh, leave comments. I try to respond to uh, every single comment. And we'll catch you guys on the next project.